Good evening. Hello. Welcome to Wednesday, Wednesday Wisdoms. Wisdoms with Janice and Phil. It took both of us to say it because we both forget what it is. So she did. She started it, and I remembered it. So you know, takes a village. Yep. Hi, Tammy. Hello. We saw the. Uh, we were at um, Winco today and saw the Myers. Just gonna be. Said, it's always good hi. to run into. At least we think it's the Myers. They had masks. They had masks on. So. Yeah. I, I assume that was them, yes, since they was. seem to know us, too. Yes, so. it was them. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to uh, run into people that we know. It is. is it? Just reinforces that there's actually people out there. Yeah. So, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Vicki. Mary Lou. Mary Lou. Why do we say that? <laughs> don't I don't say know. That. I've never said it that way before. No. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we just get to be silly today. Okay. Well, it was another hot one today. Not as bad as yesterday, Hi, or as hot as yesterday. Hi, Lori. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit nicer, but all in all, hey. I mean, hey, we're having a nice it's summer. summer. Yeah, yeah. It is summer. On with the show. This is it. Overture. Curtain lights. Oh God. <laughs> that brings back memories. Oh. Lo was that Looney Tunes or was that was Looney Tunes? Looney Tunes. <laughs> that was a it's an appropriate uh, <laughs> segue into what it we're is. doing, I guess. Okay, silly, silly, oh, stupid jokes, but what the heck. Okay, um, how do fleas get from one dog to another? By itch hiking. Oh. I know, I didn't say anything, it didn't make sense. Why was the kitten in such a bad mood? He had no music. Well, that's not bad. She needed catnip. Oh. Nap. Catnap. Oh. Catnap. Cat she needed a catnap. I think she needed news. Yeah. Why did the dog cross the road? Twice! To fetch a boomerang. Of course. Why wouldn't you know that? Okay. Okay. Why do cats like to put... What do cats like to put in their milk? It's stupid. You'll never get it. Mice cubes. Yeah, those were all groaners. Is there uh, is there an icon on here for groaners? No, I think it'd be the angry button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we don't, no, want, we don't that. want that. Want that Our little kitty cat is asleep on the a little stoop. Phil made him a little um, place where he can get up and get into his little kitty door, and he was just asleep on his little per little porch out there. It was so cute. Oh, hmm. Right next to the air conditioner. Yeah. Which he lays on most of the time. Unless it's on. Unless it's on. Really, yeah, 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 so. Okay. He doesn't want to come in, Looks like, silly cat. I know, yeah. So, yeah, summertime. Okay, um, I guess um, here's Janice. Thank you. Hey, stay close to the phone because I'm going to do things a little differently. And yeah. if people need help with an affirmation, it'll be before we actually do the process. Bye bye. Talk to the hand. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not talking to that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So, hello everyone. Oh, the lights are in the way, are they not? Hmm. Sorry. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, so anyway, want to chat with you about what we did on Sunday. So Sunday we talked about this infinity. Uh, symbol and how that could clear the energy in the space and Mary Loka asked if that would work with the I am return to I am process well the return to I am process is a bigger process than I want to do here tonight and it's a process that I do uh, in the workshop called dream quest so if you've had dream quest you have had the process of the return to I am we're going to do something similar to that because we have just a short period of time to to engage and I want to make sure that you get some information and I've amplified and shifted and adjusted some things so they're going to be a little different for you. So this should be fun. This should be fun and interesting. So the first thing I want to do before we get into the process of utilizing this infinity symbol and the hand movements that go with that is a piece of paper play. Um, it's really important for us to have a clear perception of what we intend. 
So what's your intent? What would you like to create with your life right now? And if you, whatever you create with your life, know that this process we're gonna do this evening is gonna tap you into a higher level of awareness. It's gonna tap you into your higher mind and it's gonna tap you into your heart of hearts and together that's gonna tap you into eternity, the, the all that is. So being really, really clear in the here and now is gonna affect what we do. So what do you want to create in your life? What would you like to create in your life? What would you like to manifest? So one of the things that I've, I chatted offline with someone previous to this, and one of the things they wanted to create was a, let me see if I can get the words right, just right here. Um, I'm activating a higher level of healing. So we want our statement to be I am, because that's present. And in this infinity moment, it's kind of a weird thing, but go with me with that. In the infinity moment, when we tap into time without time, the I am presence is there. And we exist in an I am moment. So stating our intention in an I am statement is going to be extremely powerful for us. So if you have uh, something that you're manifesting in your life or you would like to manifest in your life, please type it in and send it to Phil. And let's create an I am statement around that before we begin. In the meantime, how about if I share with you a couple of, of thoughts that I have had in the meantime. Sorry, I got something in my eye. It's probably dirt, <laughs> dust. It's probably just hot. I've got hot in my eye and it's itchy. Um, how about, wouldn't we like to manifest peace? Now peace is a complicated thing because I can clear the energy around me using this infinity symbol and then I'm gonna amplify that infinity symbol here in a minute and give you another technique by which you can now add an, an energy or an intent. Peace is something that sometimes has to be fought for. Is it not true? Don't we have, sometimes it's hard won. So wouldn't it be better to say, I am peace filled? And then from that peace filled being that you are, you can emanate peace and change your world. Make sense? That's why these I am statements are really, really important because I can only change me. I can't change anything out there without changing me. So it starts here, it starts here with me. So what am I willing to do? What am I willing to be? And if we say I am peace filled, then things that are conflicting we'll find a way through that into a place of either acceptance or taking a different route. Make sense? So then actions become attainable. Actions become clearer for us. Actions become visible to us. Sometimes, well, if I pray, I'm gonna pray for peace. It's too vague. But I am peace filled. Now the universe has a cue. And the universe can step in and assist you and bringing peace into your life in every aspect. Make sense? So what about um, abundant living? I am abundant. I'm abundant. And if you're abundant, then the things that you do, the worthy work that you do is going to bring you income, is going to bless you. It's also going to let you know when you're being frivolous. Is that being abundant? Is having to buy that to make myself feel better? Is that living in abundance? No, that's living frivolously. And that's having outside energy to make me feel better. And that's not, an, that's not abundant living. I live abundantly. I am abundant. Does that make sense? How about, um, I am vibrantly alive. Something of that nature. I am prosperous, I see. Sandra, beautiful, see, there it is. Anybody else having questions or problems? Let me check in with Mr. Phil. Intercom, speaker. See if 
anyone ha I, I can't watch as I'm talking. Yeah. Is anyone expressing a concern about their I am statement? because all of those things will be added to you. When we get into this I am moment, uh, that sets a whole energy field. And the universe knows exactly what to bring you in all aspects of your life. So keep it simple, keep it simple. Anybody else? Not yet. Okay, so let's just assume, I'm gonna sign off then, Phil. Let's just assume you know what you are going to state as your intent, as your manifesting statement, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to do the clearing of the space that we did on Sunday. And so let me show you that process again. Let me move this back just a tad bit more, get a little more view. That doesn't work right. Okay, so you're going to have your palms, we're going to, palms down to start. And you're gonna just sweep the energy from the room and ground it. Sweep the energy from the room and ground it. And do that a few times. And ground it and ground it. Now, let's take that up a notch, shall we? Now, be mindful. Bring your heart into your, bring your awareness into your heart space. And then from your heart space, move your awareness or connect your your higher, where, higher awareness, your higher mind, your higher level of awareness. Now they're both activated. Now connect to spirit and allow that divine source now to flow down through that connection into your heart space. And from your heart space, out into your hands. And it'll feel like your hands have this huge energy field around them. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Now, when we're sweeping and scooping, you're gonna scoop all the whole room. You may be here, but you're scooping the whole room. And when you sweep, you sweep everything and ground it out. Sweep everything in that room and ground it out. Can you feel that? You can, can't you? Now, if you have shoulder trouble, you can do that with your finger. And guess what? It still works. Use that infinity symbol it's still going to give you the same benefit because you're tapping in to this endless, timeless energy. All right, so sweeping, 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 and grounding out. Sweeping, 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 and grounding out. We're going to do that a couple more times. Sweep and ground, sweep and ground, sweep and ground. Can you feel that? I know I sure can, and sweep and ground. Now, we're going to take our hands and we're going to fold them in prayerful state of being, noticing our connection, noticing that divine space, that divine connection. And we've opened this doorway to the eternal aspect. And then have your statement, your I am statement, your I am affirmation ready. Have it in your heart space. Take your index finger and your middle finger bring them out and kind of sword fingers and then take your thumbs and open them up so you have kind of a triangle thing now put that in the center of where your energy uh, infinity symbol the center of that symbol that you're creating with your hands this marks the spot this is the signifier this is the landmark. This is the gateway. Whatever term you want to use, this locks it in. And it's tapped into this timelessness, this beyond time and space. Have you ever done something creative and hours go by and you go, oh my gosh, I had no idea it was hours. It felt like five minutes. That's tapping into that timelessness. We can do that. We have the ability to do that. The good book says that in Ecclesiastes, that God put eternity in the hearts of man. We understand it. Part of us, our heart of hearts, gets it. 
and a heart of hearts exists beyond time, it will live beyond our physical body, and it understands this eternal concept where everything is changing, everything is shifting, everything is in the now moment. So now state your I am statement, whether it's I am abundant, uh, I activate an expansive healing ability, whatever your, whatever your I am statement is, I'm abundantly alive, I am vibrant, I have vibrant, I am vibrantly alive, whatever fits for you, make that statement right now. And then we're going to have both palms up, sweeping, make sure you have that energy, do you feel that energy in your hands again? Now this time we're connecting into all that energy field in the universe and we're putting it in the other hand. Can you feel that? And then this hand is scooping from the universe and putting it into that hand. And we're amplifying that statement we just made. We're creating truth around it. And we're allowing spirit to feed that however it needs to look. And as a result, we may have uh, a miraculous healing. We may stumble across something that we didn't know existed that helps us physically. Maybe we tap into some new process we never thought about before that will bring us abundance in our life. Can you feel that energy amplifying? All right, now take that energy and put it in your heart space. Because again, your heart knows eternity. It's been gifted to you by God. If you don't like the word God, higher power. If you don't like the word higher power, all it is. Creator, whatever that is for you, gave you a sense of eternity, part of you that exists in eternity. And we're tapping into that in this process right here, right now, for your benefit. Does that make sense? Now, just be with that for a second. How does that feel? Isn't that lovely and wonderful? Now, any questions about that or comments about your experience of that? Type that up. We, we have a few more minutes here if we, if we would like. That's pretty much the process. So that, let me repeat it for you. The first step is just to clear the room. So again, get in your heart of hearts, your higher mind, your, your expansive awareness, connect to source, whatever that name you call that. It's all the same thing, whatever name you use, it doesn't matter. And allow that to come into your heart space and ex extend out into your hands from your heart space, flowing out into your hands, and your hands will feel bigger because they are tapped into this eternal energy, this infinity energy. Then you're gonna sweep and clear, put it into the earth. Sweep and clear, put it into the earth. Do that at least three times, okay? third one and you can get this so that it's really smooth and it feels really good some people when you attend church show up at church services a little early you'll see me walking through the church building doing this this is what I'm doing is I'm clearing the energy out uh, and I'm doing a process that clears and amplifies this infinity energy then prayerful make your triangle hands and make your affirmation, your I am statement, the I am that is connected to eternity. Make that statement. Open your hands up again. Let that energy build again. And now connecting to that infinity energy, sweeping through the universe, bringing everything that's going to bless you into your life and into your affirmation here and now. And do at least three of those. Here's our third one. And bring that, allow that energy now, you put it into your hands, bring it into your heart space. Take it on. 
If it were me, I'd say my affirmation one more time. I am vibrantly alive. And that locks and loads it. So how does that feel? Do you have any other questions or comments about, about this process? Let me check in with Mr. Phil and see if there's anything going on. Was it fun? Could you feel that? Do, do we have any comments about um, the process? Any questions that... <laughs> He's mumbling. My hands got really warm uh, when I put the energy into my heart space. It was warm and comforting. Wonderful, yes. Yeah, that's our rightful state of being. That's very healing energy. So even if you wanna just do that and get your hands really big and then just hold your hands at yourself for healing energy, it's a very good healing process. So I'm glad you could feel that. I'm, I'm glad you could experience that. Any other questions? Thanks for sharing, Mary Lou. Uh, Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Somebody just posted something else so I could see what Cheryl said. The statement that came to me was, I am a being of light. Wonderful. So anything that amplifies that light being that you are is going to come into your world. You're going to be more perceptive of it. You're going to see it more clearly than ever before. When, you're, when, you're, when you do this process, what happens then is the universe brings us, we've swept it into our awareness now, and the universe will bring it to our attention. And things that aren't of the light are gonna go, oh, that doesn't feel right for me anymore. Or things that are not abundant, helping you with your abundance, you're gonna go, oh, that doesn't feel right for me anymore. And you'll be able to shift and make a new choice. Shift happens, you know, right? Anything else? Uh. Um, Sandy was saying I learned to say this or something greater um, after I am an affirmation, and then she's got a little question that I can't read, but I mean I can't see. I can't. Oh, uh, what do you? What do I think about that? There, there's a question. Yeah, yeah. No, I got it. I oh, can okay. See it. Um, well, there's no wrong way to do that. I think it's a lot of anytime somebody says you have to do it or it's not good enough. I kind of go on that. <laughs> you know, if you want to say that, that's fine. But sweeping this infinity energy into your being, man, I don't know that you need anything else because the universe is going to bring to you what fits that feeling, that expression. So if I'm prosperous as your affirmation, if you've swept prosperity into your world and you're giving, the universe is going to give you clues. And it might be better than you can imagine, and that's fine. But I don't think you have to say that. I don't think that's necessary. I think that's a, an unnecessary burden to put on yourself. That's my opinion. But do whatever you want to do. I don't care. <laughs> if it works for you, go for it. Anything else? Uh, Joe said, when I place my warm hands over my heart, instead of the I am statement I had chosen, I heard, I am precious. Oh, you were gifted with a, oh, I got goosebumps on that. Anybody else get goosebumps on that? Uh, you were gifted with a whole new affirmation. So anything now in your world that uplifts that, bring that to your awareness, is going to be brought to you in clarity. So you can see it. You can perceive that. How wonderful is that? You were gifted with a whole other thing. That spirit, this infinity, this I am energy that exists beyond our time and space wanted you to know. Wow. I'm impressed. That's very cool. Thanks for sharing that. Anything else? Anybody else have a question or comment? Um, Valerie says the galaxy has come into my awareness. The galaxy? Nope. So that's just, here, let me put that in perspective for you. The galaxy is vast and huge. And it's only a small thing compared to eternity. It's only a small thing compared to infinity. That's how big this is. That's how big this process is. Make sense? Any other questions on that? Take it on. Take it in. Okay, anything else, Mr. Phil? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's about our time. It's almost 7. 
shall we call it an evening? Again, if you have any questions or comments, type them up. Uh, I'll get back online after we sign off and I will answer them personally. So take care of yourselves. And here's Mr. Phil. Should we do, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Should we do a guy, a, uh... oh, if you wanna do the, the a donate thing, either send a check to the church or hit the link. PayPal. PayPal, anything works. Okay, left hand up and right hand down. I think we got it that time. We did it! All right, so bringing that infinity energy in to your heart space, send it out your left hand and draw it in through your right hand, letting it circulate, moving around. If there's nobody there, just do it with yourself. Oh my gosh, the energy is just ramped. Now there might be someone in your circle of influence that could use healing or comfort or encouragement or situation that you would like to send energy to. Just be mindful of it in this moment. <sighs> Just it will share in this energy with us. Deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale, release them or that situation sending bright, fresh energy around in that circuit again. Now both hands up into your heart space. May your life be a prayer. God bless. We'll see you Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. There's lights. I know. Lights. That's, yeah. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Miss Captain Bye. Marcus. Be cool. Have